approximately 55 minutes into the new year, 2010. I've been on the rooftop praying, and I got a text from a young lady studying the Bible and said, Happy New Year, Pastor. And after I got through praying and I read the text, and I came down to greet them, and I thought they might be asleep, but they're all in here at almost 1 a.m. in the morning having them a Bible study. This here is Miss Clarissa from Kaviti. Her mother asked her cousin to bring her for the ministry to help her. She's doing great. This is Linda. She was working at she was working at Star City and she contacted me. She got my brochures on the jeepney where she was riding. She thought I was an Arab because I had long hair and thought I was a Muslim and she wouldn't talk to me. And then she found out when she got to her boarding house that I was a minister. And then she contacted me after she read all the literature and said she wanted to study the Bible. She was working uh, uh, seven days a week and working on Saturdays. And she says, I don't want to work on the Sabbath day. I want to honor God's commandments. And she wanted to know if she quit her job, could she come and study the Bible? She has memorized over 25 pages of the Bible now. And then this other young lady here, Miss Myline, she was working in uh, Star Mall in uh, Alabama, and her contract had ended. And I was getting ready to get on the jeepney, and we passed each other at a place where they were selling bananas, and she was buying some bananas. And I'd given her brochures, and she was polite. And she thanked me for the brochures, and so the Spirit of the Lord just spoke to me, and I turned around, and I told the man, I said, I want to pay for her uh, food that she's buying. And she didn't want me to. She was startled. And I paid for it. It's only 25 pesos. <laughs> it touched her heart. She, it, but she texted me, though, and her text touched me because she was thanking me not only for helping her, but for the, all the help the ministry has been to other people throughout the nation and the uh, Philippines and everywhere else. And that touched me because many people, they thank me for helping them, but they're not concerned if I'm helping someone else. And we should be concerned about helping everyone. And uh, the gospel is for everyone. And uh, then she contacted me and told me that her contract had ended, and I told her she could come and stay with the young ladies and study the Bible if she wanted to. And she contacted them, and she wanted to do that. And so she's been here, and she's uh, memorized, I think, over 10 pages of the Bible now. And they're all doing great. I don't have to be correcting them. They, uh, some of the young people in the past, I've had to deal with them. And uh, some of them, the Baranga captains have had to deal with them for me. But I've not had that to happen here with me. And, uh, but I, I thank our Heavenly Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and the Holy Ghost. And uh, they're studying the word. And this is 2010. Yeah. Happy last New Year to everyone in America, in the Philippines, in India, in Africa, in Russia, in Germany, in Australia, in China, in Brazil, in Mexico, in Argentina, in El Salvador, in Guatemala, in uh, uh, Korea, in Japan. And throughout all of Africa, I've been in many areas of Africa, and uh, even down into the Zulu Nation in South Africa, uh, to the king and to the princes and to Chief Minister Buddha Lazy, to all of my friends there in South Africa. Uh, love all of you. And in America, all of those standing faithfully in the ministry, I thank our Heavenly Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua and the Holy Ghost for all of you. People in Mindanao, in Ilocos Norte, in Apayao, and throughout the Philippines, that's, uh, that tonight I was in Cabal, and a man pulled up. I'm talking to young people standing on the street corner, two young ladies and a young man, and a man pulls up in a vehicle and stops and starts calling me to come to his vehicle. He knew who I was. He said, Pastor, I met you. You gave me brochures at Mall of Asia, and he, he was going to give me a ride back to Pasay. And uh, I had a new van, and he said I, I, he was going to give me a ride, but I was not ready to leave from there because I was still talking to the young people. And uh, But he, he was going to wait for me, but I didn't know how long I would be. And so I, I didn't want him to be held up because I knew he was uh, probably going home to be with his family for New Year's. 
uh, New Year's Eve, and I came back and I went up. I prayed in my room, then I went up to the rooftop and prayed. I oversee this whole entire Metro Manila, Cavite, Cabal, from the rooftop. I'm the only one that has a key there to go there at nighttime because the owners of the building know I go up there to pray. And uh, so I thank our Heavenly Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and the Holy Ghost for keeping all of the people in the ministry the entire time that I've been gone to the Philippines. I thank our Heavenly Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and the Holy Ghost. They said they're able to keep that that we commit into their hands, and I thank them for that. Amen. Bless you.